morning guys so today we are off to see the east gallery of the berlin wall like the east side of the wall and it's got art all over it but first we're stopping off at apparently one of the best chocolate places in berlin maybe in europe it's called fassbender and roche i'm going to show you what it looks like because my pronunciation is always off um but we're really excited to go in there and try hot chocolate to take with us and i don't know maybe i'll see what other chocolates they've got in there it looks really good Oh my goodness, these are all different truffles. This is a pistachio cream filled truffle or a pistachio flavored truffle. Fluffle? <laughs> truffle. Okay, so the chocolate in there is incredible. We definitely got quite a few to take away with us to try. And um, they had these really cute little Santa Clauses and Christmas trees. So I got um, a couple of those for um, my family. I think those are gonna be really cute at Christmas and the hot chocolate doesn't open until 11. It's in the restaurant upstairs, so we're gonna make our way to the east um, gallery of the Berlin Wall now. This is the remainder of the wall. Um, I guess artists came, put their art graffiti out all over it, and it goes the whole way down that street. So yeah, we're gonna go and look at it now. There are a few really famous pieces of art on here, um, so we'll show you those ones, and also some others. So we've just popped over to the other side of the wall, and it's just crazy standing here because it's more enclosed because they're doing building works. Just makes you think how it would have been just walking down the street. You can see the buildings over the top, but you can't get there. It's hard to imagine living like that. I think seeing the wall like this just makes it more real. And like I said, Berlin isn't somewhere you come necessarily to see. I mean the architecture here is amazing but a lot of the new it's a lot of new builds so it does feel industrial but then when you see parts like this it's like this is why you come there's just so much history here and although a lot of it has been kind of wiped out because of the war just left Berlin in such like a mess there was just nothing left that is just interesting to see this part and then imagine what it so would be. So this wall like. is like a history of dates from the um, the wall being up. <laughs> And it says that each rose is represented for someone who was killed. Um, I guess trying to escape or get over the wall. doesn't have the barrier um, but you can see why they put a barrier on the other bit just to preserve it because this is a mess such a shame So we've got jack we've hit the jackpot and we've got an empty carriage so you can see how the old <laughs> yellow tin can underground is here also we're in a neighborhood where they couldn't afford to put the underground underground so it's overground this is what it looks like there's alan so it's a really small carriage it's really cool really wide, like, streets. they're nice aren't they so we've made it to our brunch spot spot district coffee on a very beautiful street. So I'm not gonna lie, the service in here is questionable, but our food has finally arrived. I got the pancakes, um, because I always have a sweet tooth, I got a chai tea. And Alan got like a sandwich with chicken and a coffee. Okay, we've been browsing the shops since uh, I last spoke with you guys, and now we've made it back to Katia's, which is the like vegan vegetarian cake place. 
um, because surprisingly Alan loves this avocado and chocolate cake. I say surprisingly because normally he's not a huge fan of rich things. No. But this is like rich but creamy. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. It's basically it? the, the top, like the icing, mm -hmm. like the cream, is like an avocado mixture. Yeah. And it complements it so well because it gives that like creaminess. Mm -hmm. It's the smooth sponge, and The sponge is quite light actually. And the sponge is really light. Mm. And then I also got a hot chocolate. Which is so delicious, and the staff in here are just so nice. I definitely think nice people just make the world a better place. They just make everything more enjoyable. So next time you want to be grumpy, just remember it's so much better to be nice. Okay, we're back at our favourite curry mitt. Uh, curry mitt, I think that's how you say it. In Rossum Parlour. Is that where we are, Alan? It's the area we're in. Is it Rossum Parlour? Rossum Parlour? Rossum Parlour? And this is curry mitt. A bit will focus, there we go. So we've decided that this one is much better than the curry 61 place we went to yesterday. So if you are looking to try the curry worse, then definitely come here, it's delicious.